Yo, what's wrong guys, it's Linkman here in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys one of the biggest item template sort of drops that has ever been released. So essentially, you know that over the last couple months, I have been releasing a bunch of different item templates. And in today's video, I'm going to be releasing all of those along with five brand new ones that I were commissioned for the free pack with Eon, Sebi, and Joshi. So all of those have been on screen right now. Literally all of them will be down in the description. Just go and click through on the drive link and there will be the corresponding numbers. Uh, and yeah, there are just so many item templates to pick from. They're all unique. They're all commissioned by me. So obviously they haven't been taken from someone else. And uh, yeah, if you do not know how to actually change your name, uh, I will show you how to do that right now. So as you can see right here on screen, what you're going to go ahead and do is just open up your After Effects and go ahead and just drag in the uh, the project file of the item that you want. So for that, that is so for me, that's going to be the one from the uh, the new set of uh, items. So let me just drag it in here. Just open it actually, and it'll look something like this. So just go and click through. You probably shouldn't have those. And as you can see, if we just go ahead and drag this little arrow back in the main composition, you can just see that it sort of goes in like that, and it goes out and it goes back in now you're gonna want to adjust this little thing to be sort of where you want the render area to be so you want to drag this back to where there is no longer an ident so what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just click through on where it says edit name here it could be up here and it could be you know uh, one of these compositions down here just go ahead and double click on one of those and there should be a text layer called name or change this or something like that and what you're going to go ahead and do is just click on that, go up on the uh, the text edit thing. It'll be the, uh, or plus control T. I'm just going to uh, click on the text right here and uh, make sure you have the font Pro Provicali installed. It'll be in the drive as well, obviously, but just make sure you have that installed. Uh, what you're going to go ahead and do now is just change the name. So let's uh, let's say I wanted this to be Dignal. I just go caps, I just say Dignal, and essentially what that's going to do is it's just going to change it, and now it says Dignal, which is great. And now we just go here, and what you're going to go ahead and do is just go back to the main composition, uh, and go on File, and then Export, and then Add to Render Queue. Now once you're in Render Queue right here, you're going to want to change this. So you go to Output Module down here in the bottom left, click on Lossless, you go to Channels right here, go to RGB plus Alpha, and click OK. After you've done that, just go ahead and click on Render, and it should render out perfectly. Now, it'll output to this place. It'll be just you know, whatever you click here, and then you can select the folder. And once you've done that, you can go, go ahead and import it into Vegas. You gotta click on Properties, go to Media, then change it to uh, Straight Matted. And uh, yeah, that's really all you need to do. All right, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like down below, come subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.